You've made the right choice. God sent me to reveal something extremely important to you. He is directing me to tell you that tonight, a miracle of immense proportions will come into your life. Within 36 hours, you will begin to notice the signs of what is truly on its way. God earnestly asks that you listen to this message carefully. Do not ignore what he is telling you, so you won't regret it later. This is very important and will happen in less than three hours. I ask that you keep this information to yourself. At the end, we will pray together for the realization of all the blessings that are about to occur in your life. So, I implore you, do not ignore this. Each time you hear the word receive or feel that a word is directed at you, immediately comment I receive, so that grace may already begin to be part of your life. You know those miracles we only hear about in testimonies? That's exactly the kind of miracle that will soon happen in your life. You can almost smell victory in the air. Our generation has seen a lot, but what God is about to do will astonish everyone. Let me ask you, do you believe this? Do you believe that God can transform your situation in an instant? I'm not talking about just any change, but a complete turnaround, a shift so great that it will impact not only your life but also the lives of those around you. This is the faith I want you to have today. With this faith, your financial life is about to change. A real turnaround is coming because God has a purpose for everything. I feel an overwhelming joy in my heart just imagining the blessings that are on their way to you. It's as if I can see with the eyes of faith the heavens opening and God's blessings being poured out on your life so abundantly that you won't know where to store all the prosperity. But for this to happen, you need to be prepared. Lift your head and don't let circumstances cause you to doubt. I know the difficulties are real, and the problems seem endless, but remember, our God is greater than any adversity. He is in control of everything and knows exactly the right moment to act. And look, I'm not saying this just to say it. I truly believe that God is capable of doing infinitely more than we ask or think. He is the God of the impossible, and nothing can prevent Him from acting in your life. Do you believe this? Comment, I believe, I receive. Understand brother or sister, God is speaking directly and exclusively to you, do not fear for I am with you, do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you, help you, and uphold you with my righteous hand. I am here, cheering and praying intensely so that you may receive and live each word of this message. In a short time, everything that seemed difficult will change. What seemed lost will be recovered. You will look back and see that it was all part of a journey toward your victory. Discover the secret of prosperity with the digital devotional God tells you this today. It's a transformative tool that has already redefined the finances of over 14,989 people. If you're hearing this, it's your time to act. Join this growing community of blessed souls. Click now on the pinned link and unlock the portal to your financial freedom at an exclusive limited time price. This is the sign you've been waiting for. Embrace your prosperous future now. God tells you this today, do not ignore it. My son, my daughter, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the creator of the heavens and the earth. I am the one who formed you in your mother's womb, who knows every detail of your being, from your deepest thoughts to the desires of your heart. Today, I am here to tell you that I have a special revelation for you. I want you to pay close attention because what I am about to tell you is not about a simple change but about a true transformation, a journey that will lead you to the prosperity and abundance I have prepared for you. I see your struggles, I know your pains, and I am aware of your difficulties. I know the times when fear tried to stop you, the nights when your tears soaked the pillow. My child, you have been an example of learning and evolution. Not a single sound of your struggles has been ignored by me. I was there, even when you thought you were alone, I was always by your side. I am the one who never abandons you, who never leaves you helpless. I am your refuge, your fortress, your hope. You have been diligent in the lessons of the days, immersing yourself in the teachings that life, with its difficulties and challenges, has presented to you. And I tell you my child, that none of this was in vain. Every moment of pain, every trial, every test, serve to mold you, to strengthen you, and to prepare you for what is to come. 
I have seen your effort, your persistence, and I know you have fought with all your heart. Now my child, celebrate. Celebrate because your trophy of persistence and faith is in your hands. This trophy is not made of gold or silver, but it is much more valuable, it is the very access to the reservoir of prosperity I have prepared for you. Receive this grace. Keep this message my son my daughter, for it will be your personal testimony of the countless blessings that are about to manifest, blessings that will materialize so quickly that when you least expect it, you will already have them in your possession. In less than three hours after hearing these words, do not be afraid, for I am by your side. Do not be discouraged, for I am your strong God. The situations around you may seem unchangeable, but I am the God who rewrites stories, who transforms destinies, and who makes all things new. Trust me with your path and pay attention, for I tell you now, prepare for change. Understand my son my daughter, that doubts may haunt your spirit, the journey is arduous, and your sandals carry the dust of a long walk. However, I ask you, do not give in to the whisper of fear that tries to shake your faith. Now rise up, stand with expectation and optimism because today is the day I have specially prepared for you. My son my daughter, I want you to know that you are enveloped by my infinite grace, a grace that never fails, that never abandons you. The long-awaited moment has arrived, and I am here to tell you that the change you have been waiting for has already come knocking at your door. And pay attention, this change is not a fleeting visitor. No my son my daughter, this change has come to stay, to be the new foundation of your life, a firm unshakable foundation that glorifies every step you take and exalts our joint journey. Receive the blessings I have prepared for your life today. Yes, the blessing is already upon you. What you have longed for, what your hands have raised in prayer and supplication for, will now be transformed into praise and gratitude. I have heard every word of yours, every desire of your heart, and now I am here bringing the answer, victory. We are together in this triumphant march, and there is nothing in this world that can undo what I, the creator of all things, have destined for you. I see the weight you carry on your shoulders, I feel the hesitation that still hides in your heart. I know that doubts have tried to bring you down, that the challenges seem too great. But today, I ask you, breathe deeply, calm yourself in my presence because a transformation is about to happen. How you ask? Through faith, my son, my daughter. It is through faith that the greatest doors open, that the greatest turnarounds happen. Faith is the foundation of everything I am about to do in your life. It is through faith that you will see the impossible become possible. Tomorrow when the sun rises remember this, the shadows of the night only herald the arrival of the light, and this light that is now approaching your financial life will shine brighter than ever before. It will illuminate every decision you need to make, will clarify every path ahead of you. The journey that once seemed uncertain confusing, will become as clear as the pure water of a stream. You will see that I the Lord was straightening every route, even those corners of life where you were surprised, where you were hurt. I am here to calm those storms, to turn chaos into calm, to straighten the crooked paths. Now, open your heart, my son, my daughter, and receive my promises. Allow my word, my voice, to enter deeply into your life and transform everything around you. I know that sometimes it's hard to believe. I know the daily struggles can wear you down. But do not lose faith, do not lose hope. I am the God who makes all things new. I am the God who exceeds all expectations, who turns the ordinary into extraordinary, who brings life where there was once despair. Receive my transformation in your life. This video, these words you are hearing now, are a testimony of what is to come. I want you to keep this message in your heart, to return to it whenever you need to remember that I, the Lord, am in control of everything. When doubts try to overwhelm you, when fear knocks at your door remember, I am with you. I am the one who sustains you, who guides you, who protects you. Soon, you will look back and marvel at everything I have done in your life. You will see how faithful I was, how I sustained you in the most difficult moments. And then you will rejoice because I am the God who not only fulfills promises, but who exceeds all expectations. Everything I do is for your good, to lead you to the greater purpose I have for your life. Comment with faith, glory to God in the highest. I, the Lord of hosts, 
come to you in this sacred moment. I have observed every step, felt every sigh, and noted every moment of uncertainty that crosses your day. In your prayers, in the thoughts that wander in the stillness of the night, you ask, will my blessing come? I am here today with all the authority of heaven, to assure you, yes it will come, and it is much closer than you imagine. Therefore, do not give up. Watch this message with hope and joy because the decisions that will bring to life the wonders I have prepared for you are already in full swing. Have faith because your reality is about to align with my promise. And when the time comes, you will join the chorus of those who proclaim, Great is the faithfulness of the Lord. Receive this prophecy in your life today. There are three parables, three keys of wisdom that, if embraced with faith and diligence, will open the doors to the fullest prosperity before you. I want you to pay close attention because these lessons I am about to share carry the promise of a brighter more blessed tomorrow. And the last of them, remember, is the most important. So listen with an open heart because I am about to reveal something that can transform the life of each one of you. The first parable I want to share is about the sower. You may have heard this story before, but today I want you to look at it with new eyes, with a heart prepared to receive what I am saying. The sower went out to sow, and as he scattered the seed, some fell along the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky places, where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly because the soil was shallow. But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched, and they withered because they had no root. Other seeds fell among thorns, which grew up and choked the plants. But still, other seed fell on good soil, where it produced a crop, a hundred sixty, or thirty times what was sown. Now son daughter, what I want you to understand is that the seeds represent the word, the teaching, the knowledge that I am sowing in your heart. The soil, in turn, represents the heart and mind of each one. I ask you, in what kind of soil is my word falling in your life? Is it falling along the path, where distraction and the worries of the world come and take it away? Or perhaps on rocky ground, where it begins to take root but then, faced with difficulties, it withers and dies? Or is it falling among thorns, where it is choked by the pleasures and worries of this life? I desire with all my heart that the word I am sowing in you falls on good soil, where it can take deep roots and bear abundant fruit. This means that you need to prepare the soil of your heart, removing the stones of unbelief, pulling out the thorns of doubt and worldly cares, and allowing my word to penetrate deeply into your life. Because if you do this, you will reap an abundance of blessings, a prosperity that goes beyond any expectation. Receive this gift. The second parable I share with you is about the faithful manager. There was a rich man who had a manager who was wasting his possessions. When he found out, the man called the manager and said to him, What is this I hear about you? Give an account of your management because you cannot be my manager any longer. The manager then thought to himself, What shall I do now? My master is taking away my job. I'm not strong enough to dig, and I'm ashamed to beg. I know what I'll do so that, when I lose my job here, people will welcome me into their houses. So he called in each one of his master's debtors. He asked the first, How much do you owe my master? Nine hundred gallons of olive oil, he replied. The manager told him, Take your bill, sit down quickly, and make it four hundred and fifty. Then he asked the second, And how much do you owe? A thousand bushels of wheat, he replied. He told him, Take your bill and make it eight hundred. The master commended the dishonest manager because he had acted shrewdly. Now what I want you to learn from this story is the importance of being faithful managers of the resources I place in your hands. Everything you have, every talent, every opportunity, every financial resource, all comes from me. And how are you managing these gifts? Are you using them wisely, investing in what is eternal, helping those in need, being generous with others? Or are you wasting them, thinking only of yourself, not considering the long-term consequences? Be like the faithful manager who, despite his initial failure, knew how to act wisely when needed. Be wise with what I have entrusted to you because whoever is faithful with little, I will set over much. When you manage well what I have given you, doors of prosperity will open, and you will see your lives flourish in ways you never imagined. 
Before I can reveal the third parable, I want to share something of utmost importance with you. My son my daughter, I am your God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, and today I want to speak directly to your heart. My son Jesus, whom I sent to walk among you, has already revealed how the end times will be. He who became man, who felt the pains and joys of human life, will come again in his majestic glory. But this time, he will not come only as the merciful Savior but also as a righteous judge. He will return in power and glory to celebrate justice among the nations, to separate the wheat from the chaff, to reveal the truth, and to establish the eternal kingdom. When that day comes, everyone will see the splendor of Jesus. Every eye will behold his majesty, and every knee will bow before him. There will be no doubt, no questioning, because his glory will be unmistakable. But before the veil of time is lifted and eternity takes its place, I want you to know the promises I have for your lives. Yes, I have plans of peace, prosperity, and abundant life for each one of you. You are like the great trees I planted in my garden, robust, magnificent trees full of life. I created you to be like this, strong, resilient, capable of withstanding life's storms. From your branches extends the calm shade with a weary find rest, and among your leaves, the fruits that nourish the traveler emerge. I made you to be a source of life, of sustenance, so that through you, others may also come to know my grace and my love. Therefore, today I summon each one of you to live with full awareness, with your heart and mind focused on me. Do not be led astray by the shortcuts that the world offers. These paths, no matter how appealing they may seem, are not the paths I have drawn for you. They promise ease, but they are like quicksand that sinks and engulfs those who trust in them. I have prepared a much safer route for you, a path that leads to true life. This path which I have personally paved, is made of the concrete of honesty, covered with the asphalt of integrity, and illuminated by the light of genuine love. I know that sometimes it may seem difficult, that the trials may seem too great, but I am with you in every step, supporting you, guiding you, never letting you stumble. You are not alone on this journey. I am the strength behind each of your steps. The true prosperity I have destined for you has no expiration date. It does not fade with the wind, it does not disappear like the morning dew. My prosperity is eternal, solid, a gift that lasts forever. It is the peace that surpasses all understanding, the joy that overflows, the security of knowing that you are in my hands and that nothing, absolutely nothing can take you away from me. I have called you to be light in this world, to be witnesses of my love, to live according to my principles. And those who choose the path of righteousness, those who choose to follow my way, will receive countless blessings. Just as the triumphant return of my son is certain and unshakable, so are the blessings that are on their way to each one of you. Share this message with your friends and family. Share the good news of God with as many people as you can. Together, we can reach millions of people who desperately need to hear this. I love each of you with an eternal love, a love that never fails. And it is with this love that I guide you, that I protect you, that I sustain you. Trust in me, walk in my ways, and I promise that your life will be a testimony of my power and grace. And now we come to the third parable, the most important of all, because it is the key that can change everything for you. It is the parable of the hidden treasure. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again, and in his joy, he went and sold all he had and bought that field. What I want you to understand here, my son, my daughter, is that the true treasure, the true prosperity, is not found in the things of this world. It is found in seeking the kingdom of heaven, in seeking first my kingdom and my righteousness. When you discover this treasure, nothing else matters. You will be willing to give up everything to possess it because you know that in it lies true life, true joy, true wealth. Many seek prosperity in material things, in money, in status, in power. But I tell you, all this is temporary, all this fades away. The only treasure that lasts forever is my kingdom, my presence in your lives. When you place your heart in me, when you seek me with all your heart, I promise that all other things will be added to you. You will not have to worry about tomorrow because I will take care of everything. You will see doors open, blessings being poured out, and a prosperity that never ends. So today, I ask you, 
rise up and seek the hidden treasure. Let go of what is temporary to embrace what is eternal. I am offering you a field with an incomparable treasure, and all you need to do is embrace it with faith. This is the key to full prosperity, the key that opens all doors, the key that transforms lives. These three parables, my son, my daughter, are the keys I give you today. Be like the sower who sows in good soil, like the faithful manager who wisely uses what he has received, and like the man who found the hidden treasure and gave everything to possess it. Follow these lessons, and I promise you will see the fullness of my prosperity manifest in your lives. Today, choose to live with purpose, with the wisdom I have given you. Make this the foundation of your walk, and you will see how everything will begin to align in your lives. I am the God who exceeds all expectations, the God who turns the ordinary into extraordinary. I am the Lord your loving Father, and I am here to bless each one of you. May these words become a lamp for your feet and a light for your path. Keep them in your heart, live them daily, and I promise that full prosperity will be your reality. You are mine, and I am yours forever. Amen. I know that you are feeling something different right now, a growing expectation, a deep desire for change. And I want you to know that this is no accident. It is not a coincidence that you are hearing these words at this moment. No my dear, this is a calling. A direct call from God's heart to your heart. But I ask you, are you really prepared for what comes next? Are you ready to see the transformation that God has prepared for your life? Imagine for a moment, your life completely different from the one you live today. Close your eyes for a moment and visualize all those things for which you have prayed so much. Visualize prosperity flowing in every aspect of your life. Feel the peace that fills your heart as you realize that all your efforts, all your struggles, were not in vain. Can you imagine this? Because, my friend, I assure you that this is much closer than you can imagine. But before we continue, I want you to reflect on something, what are the dreams you have left behind? What are the promises you have yet to see fulfilled? It's so easy, isn't it? As time goes by, with the difficulties and challenges of daily life, we end up setting aside our dreams. But today, God is reminding you that He has not forgotten the promises He made to you. He has not forgotten the dreams He planted in your heart. And you know what? He is about to make each of these promises come true in a way that goes beyond your imagination. Have you ever heard of seeds that grow in the dark? That's right, many times when we plant a seed, it spends days, weeks, or even months underground in the dark, without us seeing any sign of life. But down there, something is happening. The roots are deepening, the seed is germinating, preparing to break through the surface and bloom. And when we finally see the sprout emerge, we are amazed by the beauty that is revealed. This is how God works in your life. It may be that until now, you have felt as if you were in the dark, without seeing results, without seeing the harvest of your efforts. But I am here to tell you that God is working, even when you cannot see it. He is preparing something great, something wonderful. And when it comes to light, it will be like that sprout that breaks through the earth, unexpected, but full of life, color and joy. But here's an important question, are you watering the seed that God planted in your heart? Are you nurturing your faith, keeping your hope alive, even in the dark moments? Or have you allowed doubt and fear to choke the dreams that God has given you? My brother, my sister, do not let fear steal what is rightfully yours. Do not let circumstances define what God has planned for you. Remember, even in the darkness, the seed is growing. And you need to keep believing, keep watering it with your prayers, with your faith, with your hope. And now, I want to speak to those of you who may be feeling weary. Maybe you have been fighting for so long that discouragement has started to set in. Have you ever wondered why some things seem to take so long to happen? Have you found yourself thinking if it's really worth continuing to believe? If so, know that you are not alone. Many of us go through moments like this. But there's something you need to understand, God's timing is not our timing. The Bible teaches us that there is a time for everything. There is a time to plant and a time to harvest, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time for war and a time for peace. And what does that mean for you? 
It means that your harvest time is coming. It means that the time for your laughter, your peace, is approaching. But to get there, you need to go through the process. And what is that process? It is the process of trusting God, even when everything around you says otherwise. It is the process of maintaining faith, even when the evidence seems to be against you. It is the process of learning, growing, and strengthening while God works behind the scenes of your life. Now, stop and think, what are you doing with the time God has given you? Are you using this time to draw closer to Him? To seek wisdom, to grow in faith and love? Or have you allowed the worries of the day to distance you from what really matters? Because, look, the time you have today is a gift. And every moment is an opportunity to connect more deeply with God, to understand His plans, to prepare for the blessings that are to come. God does not waste anything. Every second of your life has a purpose, and He is molding you, preparing you for something greater. And here's a fundamental question, do you trust God enough to give Him full control of your life? Are you willing to let Him guide each of your steps, even when the path seems uncertain? Because that is what He is asking of you today. He is asking you to hand everything over to Him. To let Him be the captain of your ship, even when the waves seem too strong. You may be wondering, but how do I do that? How do I give everything to God? And I tell you, it starts with a simple but powerful decision, the decision to trust. Trust that God knows what is best for you. Trust that He loves you and that His plans are always for your good. Trust that even when you don't understand what's happening, He is in control. And this trust is not something you need to have all at once. It grows over time, as you walk with God, as you see His faithfulness manifest in your life, even in the small things. So start today. Give God your fears, your worries, your doubts. And let Him show you how wonderful it is to live a life guided by Him. Now, I want to ask you another question. What is your greatest desire at this moment? What is deep in your heart? What have you been asking God for in your most sincere prayers? It could be healing, restoration, a financial blessing, or perhaps a miracle in the life of someone you love. Whatever it is, know that God knows each of these desires. He knows every tear you've shed, every sigh of hope, every silent prayer. And He is telling you now, I hear your cry. I see your heart and I am working on your behalf. But here's the key, are you willing to wait for his timing? Are you willing to trust that when the right time comes, he will bring the answer you've been waiting for? Many times, we want things to happen immediately. We live in a world where everything is instant, and we end up expecting God to answer our requests at the same speed. But God is not a God of haste. He is a God of perfection and He knows exactly the right moment to act in your life. So, I ask you again, are you ready to wait on God? Are you prepared to trust that even when it seems like nothing is happening, He is working? Because, my brother, my sister, waiting on God is never in vain. Waiting on God always brings the best fruits. And when these fruits come, they are so sweet, so abundant, that you will realize it was worth the wait. But while you wait, God invites you to do something more. He invites you to rejoice along the way, to find peace and contentment even before you see the answer. He calls you to live with gratitude, to celebrate every small victory, every small step that brings you closer to the fulfillment of His promises. Because true faith is not just believing that God can do it. True faith is trusting that He is already doing it, even if you can't see it yet. And now, let's talk about something we often ignore the importance of action in our faith. Faith without works is dead, as the Apostle James said. And what does that mean? It means that while you wait on God, while you trust in His timing, it is also necessary to act. It is necessary to do your part. So the question I ask you now is, what are you doing to prepare for the blessings that are coming? Are you preparing for what you asked for? If you are waiting for a job opportunity, for example, are you getting ready, seeking knowledge, improving yourself? If you are waiting for a family restoration, are you working on your relationships, offering forgiveness, seeking peace? If you are waiting for a financial blessing, are you being a good manager of what you already have, are you being generous, 
are you investing in your spiritual and emotional life? Because, look, God works in partnership with us. He does his part, but he expects us to do ours as well. And when we take action, showing our faith through our works, we open the way for God to manifest his will in our lives even more powerfully. So, I ask you, what can you do today, right now, to align yourself with God's plans for your life? What is the step of faith you need to take? What is the decision you need to make? Think about it, and don't be afraid to act. God is with you every step of the way, and he will guide you, strengthen you, bless you. Now, I want to talk about a crucial aspect of our walk with God, the power of prayer. Have you ever wondered why we pray? Why does God, who knows everything, ask us to pray? Prayer is not just a request, it's not just a wish list that we present to God. Prayer is a conversation, a dialogue with the Creator. It's a moment of deep connection, where we open our hearts and allow God to transform us from the inside out. And here's the secret, prayer has power. When you pray with faith, something happens in the spiritual realm. Chains begin to break, doors begin to open, miracles begin to manifest. But prayer is not just about what God can do for you. Prayer is also about what God does in you. It strengthens you, gives you peace, makes you see things through the eyes of faith. So, I ask you, how is your prayer life? Have you dedicated time to talk to God, to hear His voice, to seek His presence? Or have the worries of daily life kept you from this precious moment? Because, my dear, it is in prayer that we find the strength to continue. It is in prayer that we receive direction, wisdom, peace. And if you feel that your prayer life is not where it should be, don't worry. God is not condemning you. He is inviting you to start anew. He is calling you back to that intimate conversation, where you can be who you really are, where you can open your heart and pour out all your concerns, all your pains, all your dreams. And He is there, ready to listen to you, ready to welcome you, ready to guide you. So, I challenge you today to make a commitment to God. A commitment to strengthen your prayer life, to seek His presence every day. Not as an obligation, but as a pleasure, as a privilege to be in communion with the Creator of the universe, with the One who loves you unconditionally. And now, I want you to reflect on something very important, how have you treated the people around you? Because look, God didn't call us to live isolated, focused only on our own problems and desires. He called us to be light, to be salt on this earth, to make a difference in the lives of those around us. Have you ever stopped to think about how many lives you can impact with a word, with an act of love, with a prayer? Sometimes we are so focused on our own problems that we forget there are people around us who are also struggling, who are also in need of a miracle, of a word of hope. And you know what's even more amazing? When you bless someone else's life, God multiplies that blessing in your life. When you care about being an answer to someone else's prayer, God makes sure your prayers are answered in ways you can't even imagine. Because that's how the kingdom of God works, it's by giving that you receive, it's by sowing that you reap. So, I ask you, how can you be a blessing in someone's life today? Who around you needs a word of encouragement, an act of love, a prayer? And are you willing to step out of your comfort zone to be God's answer in that person's life? Because, look, God blesses you so that you can bless others. He gives you resources, talents, opportunities, not just for your benefit, but so that you can use all of that for the good of those around you. And when you do that, when you become a channel of blessing, you see God's prosperity flowing even more abundantly in your life. Now, let's talk about something we often avoid, forgiveness. I know that for some of you, this word may bring up painful memories. Maybe you have been hurt, betrayed, disappointed by someone you trusted. And forgiveness may seem like an impossible task, a burden too heavy to bear. But I want to tell you something, forgiveness is not a weakness. Forgiveness is a strength. And more than that, forgiveness is a key. A key that can open doors of healing, liberation, new opportunities. Have you thought about that? Have you wondered if there is someone in your life that you need to forgive? Because forgiveness is not just a gift you give to someone else. Forgiveness is a gift you give to yourself. When you forgive, you free yourself from the chains of the past, 
from the wounds that hold you back, from the pains that prevent you from moving forward. And maybe the forgiveness you need to give is not to someone else, but to yourself. Maybe you have made mistakes, failed, done things you regret. And because of that, you have been carrying a weight of guilt, of shame. But today, God is inviting you to let go of that weight, to forgive yourself, to free yourself. Because He has already forgiven you. And He wants you to live in freedom, in peace, in fullness. So, I ask you, are you willing to forgive today? Are you willing to let go of the hurts, to leave behind what has passed, and to walk toward the future that God has prepared for you? Because I promise you when you do this, when you choose to forgive, you open up space in your life for God to pour out a new portion of blessings, of peace of joy. And finally, I want to talk about the importance of living with gratitude. Gratitude is one of the most powerful forces that exist. When you live with a grateful heart, you change your perspective, you change your energy, you change what you attract into your life. Gratitude connects you with what is best, with what is positive, with the blessings God has already poured out on you. And look, gratitude does not mean ignoring the challenges, pretending that everything is perfect. Gratitude is recognizing that even in the midst of difficulties, there is something to be grateful for. It's focusing on what is good, on what is positive, on what is going right, and letting that fill you with hope with joy. So, I challenge you to start each day with gratitude. Before doing anything, before getting out of bed, stop and think of at least three things you are grateful for. It can be something small, like being alive, having a home, having people who love you. It can be something big, like a recent victory, an unexpected blessing. Whatever it is, start your day by giving thanks. And see how that transforms your life, how that opens doors, how that attracts even more blessings. And now, I want to pray with you. I want you to close your eyes, wherever you are, and connect with God. I want you to open your heart, to allow these words to enter deeply into your life and begin to transform everything around you. Beloved Father, I thank you for this moment, for each person who is hearing this message. I thank you for their lives, for their open hearts, for their willingness to hear your voice. Lord, I know that each one of them has dreams, has desires, has requests that they are placing before you. And I ask you Father that at this moment, you come to meet each one of them. That you pour out your peace, your joy, your prosperity upon their lives. I pray Lord, that every seed that was planted today begins to sprout, begins to grow, begins to bear fruit. I pray that every word that was sown in good soil begins to produce an abundant harvest, a harvest of blessings, of miracles, of transformations. And I ask you Father, to help each one of them to trust in you, to wait on you, to act in faith. May they rise every day with the certainty that you are in control, that you are guiding each step, that you are preparing something wonderful for their lives. I pray Lord that every wounded heart is healed, that every life that needs forgiveness receives that grace, that every person who needs a change, a transformation, may experience your power, your presence, your mercy. And above all Father, I ask you to pour out your peace upon each one of them, the peace that surpasses all understanding, the peace that guards our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. May this peace, Lord, be like a river that flows in every area of their lives, bringing healing, bringing joy, bringing renewal. We thank you Lord for everything you have already done, for everything you are doing, and for everything you are yet to do. We thank you because we know that you are faithful, that you fulfill your promises, that you are the God of the impossible. And we place all our hopes, all our dreams, all our lives in your hands, trusting that you will act in ways that go beyond what we can imagine. We praise you Father, and we give you all the honor, all the glory, all the praise because only you are worthy. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Now I encourage you to keep walking in faith, to keep trusting in God, to keep waiting on His timing. Because I know that great things are coming in your life. I know that God has wonderful plans for you and that He will fulfill each of His promises. Remember that you are not alone. God is with you, in every step, in every decision, in every moment. He loves you, He cares for you, and He has something incredible in store for your life. So keep standing firm, keep believing, keep praying. And get ready because your victory is closer than you think. May God richly bless you, 
and may you experience, every day, the fullness of His grace, His love, His prosperity. Amen. If you are going to read and practice the teachings of the devotional today, comment here, I will now. Be part of this prayer community. Subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell. That way, whenever God has a message directed at you, you will be notified first. Look now, two videos are appearing on your screen. They are like windows to a new miracle. Click right now. I'll see you on the other side.